In this lesson, you're gonna see me go from this to this in 15 swings. Nice, Ernie. That's one of the better drives I've seen you hit. What's going on, guys? Welcome to week 67 of my journey to scratch. I'm so sorry for the mess in here. I am getting ready to move next week, and if I look tired, it's because it's early in the morning. I am so excited to share this lesson with you guys. I took it last Friday with Zach. Quite honestly, I was in a bit of shambles with the driver. I just felt like I had no confidence over the ball. I was just topping it, slicing it, like had no control of anything, and it was getting worse and worse and worse. So I booked a lesson with Zach and we got right back to work and sort of calibrated my swing back to where it was when I was swinging my best. I think you guys are gonna get a lot out of this video. It, we really focus on path control, face control, and really what your upper body should be doing to make sure that you're generating the shot shape that you're trying to generate. If you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Second of all, subscribe so you don't miss the video. And third of all, my name is Ernie and I'm trying to get down a scratch and I document the entire process so that we can get better at golf together. I've been taking lessons with my golf coach, Zach, for a little over a year, and we've seriously transformed my golf swing. I have a whole playlist. I think we're up to like 18 to 20 lessons at this point, maybe a little bit less. And you can really see the, the whole process from start to finish and how we've really built my swing from scratch. So if you're interested in that, I'll make sure to link it at the very end for you. That said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to remember to click the like button. And if you have any questions at all, make sure you drop them down below. But yeah, you'll see. I, okay. I, I think I've like lost a lot of confidence in my drivers. Like, yeah. I don't feel good about like, swinging fast. Okay. And like, I know I can. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'll do like a speed training session. I'm like, okay, I'm swinging way faster than, okay. than I ever have. But yeah, like I've top them like okay. <laughs> all, over, all over the place. You'll just, see in a second. Just hit three and I'm just gonna observe. Okay. Really? Oh man, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why. So that's been, what, two out of 10? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, we'll see, let's, let's do a couple more. Oh, it's, it's all heel. You're just getting a lot of chest opening and impact. Okay, so try to you, hold it back. Let's see how much that shoulder's coming forward there. Yeah. So right now, when you get that one that just like dribbles left, so you're high on it and your heel. Gotcha. So just, I want you to feel, bring it all the way up, come down and return it back, but keep this back. Okay. So I want you to feel shoulders more closed at impact. So you can either think right shoulder back or left shoulder more closed. Okay. So see, I'm keeping it more there. Yeah. So I think the more my shoulders are closed, see, I'm going to hit more toe. Yeah. The more my shoulders are open, see, I'm going to hit more heel. Perfect. So don't hit this one, just bring it up. Come down. Keep coming, keep coming. There you go. I feel different. Yeah. Do that again. There you go. Much better. Good. Okay. Not what I was expecting today. <laughs> All right, bring it up to the top. Okay. Come down. And too much. There we go. So you're like this. Okay. See how it's more like this? Yeah. See how my shoulders are more level? I don't want to get too much side bend here. Okay. Go all the way up again. There we go. Try that. Much better. Okay. Okay, we got it. Better contact, just left it wide open. Better path. Bring it all the way up to the top again. Okay, come down. There. So you just don't want this left shoulder getting way up. Okay. Much better. Good. There you go, closer, but feel it's all heel? Yeah. See how much you're exiting left? Yeah. And look where your chest is pointing when you finish. Way left. Yep, exactly. So I gotta get you to feel, your drop's not bad. So you're coming down here pretty good. And then see how I let my arms pass my chest? Yeah. And then feel like, see how more this way? Round it up. But now look at here and here, okay? Okay. Super stable. Yes. It's like not doing a whole lot, right? Versus when your buttons get in front of your club, 
yeah. that's where you're that way. And then see where I'm exiting? Yeah. Versus feel like my club gets a little more in front of my buttons. And then I keep it back more. Perfect. And see how much it's out that way versus coming here. Amazing. Okay. Here you go. Good. Keep going. Now keep your buttons pointed at me as your arms pass and the club passes. Yes, like that. Okay. Does that feel way out there? Yeah. Hit one like that, that's speed. Okay. If you do that correctly, it should be like an eight to a 10, which you've never done with the driver. Okay. That feel way out there? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so now look at the difference. See how long you're staying back there? Yeah. And now see how you're actually closed and I can see your chest? Yeah. And see how you're way out there? Feeling that, like. Yeah, so here's the simplest way to think of it, right? So if I'm here, so I have the handle and my sternum, right? Mm -hmm. So so many people, when they slice, they're gonna come down and they're gonna turn their chest here and then see how my chest is in front? Yeah. And look where the club is, right? Way open, yeah, and way behind. Yeah, so what I wanna try and feel is get this to pass. See how much more rounded that is? Yes. So like when I'm here, and I get the club to pass, see how it's going that way? Yeah. Now watch, when I'm here and I turn, see where it yeah. goes? And I do remember so, like when we first started working together with the driver, uh -huh. it almost felt like I would hit the ball uh -huh. and I couldn't see it. Like yeah. I would, like it would be a second before I could see it up in the air. Mm -hmm. Like now I just feel like, oh, I'm just like looking straight at it. Yeah. Another one just like that? Yep, just like that. I've never done eight. No, never, not even close. With your irons, yeah, but not your driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And like, I try. And... Yeah. All right, so I'm going up. Yep, buttons at me as the club passes. There you go. Yes. Do you feel how that shoulder is like staying passive and your arms are going past the yeah. left shoulder? Yeah, it's like my arms are doing all the work. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Leaving it back as much as I can. Okay, Yep. another 50%-ish. Yep, same thing. Okay, now that's just the club coming in above the ball. So what you gotta think of is anytime you top it like that. So see how the bottom of the club's at the bottom of the ball? Yeah. You're coming in and the bottom of the club's is above the ball. Gotcha. So what I want you to feel is go up and then bring it right back to there. Okay. Do that before you hit. Oh, that was it, just shut the face. Path looked great, nice. Sweet. That was a little faster than I intended. That feel more center face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do it again and I'll yeah. focus on closing. Okay. And that was another thing I felt like I was practicing yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was so focused on the path. Yeah. Then I was like, let me just focus on face. Now and when you... I started focusing on face, my path got better. You have to think about both path and face. Okay. You're past the point of focusing on one. Okay. Because big picture, you have to get both together. If you don't get path and face, it doesn't matter. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. That's a good point. I mean, here's the bottom line. We got to get results now. <laughs> Let's do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna try to hook it. Okay, so keep chest back like you were just doing a couple swings ago and hook it. And roll it. Yep. Okay. Yep. There we go, great job. Nice. Amazing. Hit three of those. And it's like, like I told you, like I had, I knew it was going left, yeah. but I couldn't, like that ball was almost like by the lollipop by the time I saw it. It's just Got like it. so late. Yeah. So I think what happened was you started hitting left and you panicked and you got rid of it too quick. <laughs> Yeah. So I'd say next time that happens, instead of getting rid of it, just dial it back. Cool. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful, Ernie. I like that. That's nice. Let's look at that one. And now coming down, you can see chest is staying back. Really good drop. Shoulders are slightly closed at impact. See where your chest is pointing? Oh, yeah. Way Almost back. right, yeah. Yeah. I like that. And the arms are more in front of you. And just nice it's just like okay we've had the same consistent message yeah you know you, you fall off a little bit but it's not major surgery to get it back oh yeah you know what i mean for sure yeah i think you've done this before that's true it feels it's a lot easier now because yeah. like we're speaking the same language yeah versus when we first started is like you're learning a whole new language <laughs> yeah <laughs> big time i like this path yeah i do too and you think that's all shoulders and chest yeah 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 there you go it's like I feel like when I want to add speed, it's try to get so yeah. fast, right? And that's what happens on your course videos. Yeah. 
it's all and chest. I don't mean to. It's just like yeah. the adrenaline, I guess, just like wanting to get the ball out. Yeah. There we go. Just a little heel. Yeah. But the path is there now. Path was great. It yeah. felt like I was trying to close it. Yeah. Was I just a little late? I think you hit the heel. Okay. I think, yeah. So see how the okay. face is half the path, but it still went right? Yeah. Gear effect. So yeah. heel's going to spin it right, toe's going to spin it left. Yeah, and the ball's spinning a lot. I already booked uh, an appointment with Mike. Oh, good. When are you seeing him? Uh, in two weeks. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, because... Like, even when I was practicing, it was like my draws were spinning at 2,600. Yeah. Like, even when I got it perfect, it was still mm -hmm. spinning way too much. Yeah. And then when I miss hit. I want you to be adamant on 17 to 1,800. Okay, yeah. sweet. This is great, Zach. Cool. I, I absolutely needed this. I was trying to solve it on my own. Yeah. Just couldn't do it. Like, spent hours and hours, and I just couldn't figure it out. There you go. But I like that feeling, just feeling like the chest is still pointing there. Yep, exactly. Beautiful. Look at that. That's the first real draw with your driver. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty. I like that. That was pretty. That, really nice. Maybe a touch toe. Yeah. So just any time yeah. you see that open face and it comes back. A little. Yeah. That was a little pushy and yeah, but the toe kind of saved me back. Saved me a little bit. But cause, because that path is better, we're fine, right? Right, right. Versus exactly. If the path was zero, that would be a big block. Yeah. So you can see here. See how that's all toe right there? Yeah. Yeah. Not Better of the toe. misses. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Heel for you is death because heel is going to be spinning right. Yeah. Yeah. You almost never see someone who slices hit the toe. They all hit the heel. Yeah. Yeah. Do another close. Yeah. You're doing really close. good with the shoulders now and your path and extension is a lot better. And it's just putting the face and the path together. Okay. Are you rotating your left elbow? Yeah. That's what I'm picturing right okay. now. Oh, I wanted to so bad. You're doing it late. Yeah? Yeah, hold on to it. You gotta be back here. Ready. Perfect. Ready. You gotta I'm gonna be, be right here. Yep, and then finish. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's see. Well, that was a different practice swing right there. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, if, yeah. like. You'll see the difference when you look in the video there. Okay. There you go. See how that gets it left? Yeah. So now the problem that you're doing, and this is what you ran into on your own. So once you close it here, Ernie. I lose my loft? No, no, no. You keep closing it. Oh, I see, I see. And, and your toe looks like this. So like you're coming down, so like from here, and you're closing really good, and then you just roll it over like this. And you, you don't even see it. In it? Your, yeah. So you got to get here when I'm square, and see how it's more there? Yeah. Versus letting that just roll mindlessly. Perfect. I'm gonna try to stabilize like the the wedge one that we did, right? Yeah, yeah, same thing. Square here. Yep. And but then now come through to me. Yep. So see how you're here? Can't yeah. be there. Gotcha. That's the difference. So here, face the camera. Yep. Come through. Do what you normally do. So that's where you get in trouble. That's yeah. where you panicked. Yeah. Hold on, do that bad one again. So look at how the logo on your glove is pointed down to the ground and see how your right palm is over. Yeah. That's the hook release right there. So see now how both arms are more even? Yeah. And then the thumbs are here and the face is more to 45? Yeah. Hook, block, square. Nice. So I'm squaring. Yep. Holding it. Yep, so it's close early and then stabilize it. Yes. That's it. Very nice. So if you look at here, look at the toe of the club. See how it's not rolled over? Yeah. And then same thing. Where is it? Yeah. See how it's not rolled over? Yeah. Yeah. So think of here's the ball, right? But really, the club face matters at the right foot. So as I come down, you're getting here and then you're trying to roll it hard. Yeah. So what I want you to feel is by the right foot, see how everything's ready? Yeah. And then I just stabilize coming through. That was your best one right there. I feel more center face? Yeah, oh, big time. There we go, so now if I zoom in, see how much better that is? Oh, it's so much better. And then see how face is close to half the path? 
And then now look as you come through, see how it's not rolled over? Yes. So you look at the toe, see how that's at that 45? All right, now let's master that. Let's go, man. That was so sick. So is that earlier close or is that more stable? <laughs> uh, it's both. Yeah? Yeah, so early close and then like do all the work here. I felt yeah. like I was trying to do all the work here. It's, like do it here good. and yeah. then I just kind of like let the, the swing go through. Yep. Otherwise it's all timing based. Yeah. Some days you can do it, but it's not <laughs> going to be consistent. Yeah. There it is. Nice job. That should be a bigger path. Three. Three. Let's yeah. go. Can you do fast and eight? Let's see. Okay. There you go. Got the face. Yeah. How did the face do? Oh, nice. Yeah. Can you feel it's not closing so much? Yeah. 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 No, big time. Yeah. It's nice because it's just, I just hold it. I just like, I get here and it's just, just let it go through. Yeah. You don't have to help it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going fast with eight, right? Yep. So that'll be somewhere here. Yep and just faster. Oh, that looked out there. There we go, four and a half. Let's go. Nice. 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 Cool. All right. Yeah, so like these, you see how they're all 2,800? Yeah. And go see Mike Roush. <laughs> <laughs> like that, I mean, we're getting as close to like, you know, I hit that yeah. on, the, on the course and I'm happy. And yeah. yeah, I'm losing at least 10 yards, right? Yeah, if not more. Nice, Ernie. That's one of the better drives I've seen you hit. I know I can get way faster than this too. Yeah, but I, I, all I care about is technique. You Sweet. Know? So you got, you know, path at almost three, face half the path. Beautiful. So like that, you hit that well and still 3,200. 3, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Good, that was good today. Yeah. Yeah. Man, those first couple of shots, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. As you can see from my big smile, I was so happy. I felt like I hadn't swung the golf club like that in a long time. And a bit of a spoiler for next week's video, which I already filmed this week, I focused in on the things that I do after taking a lesson, how much I practice, if I play, and that sort of stuff. So I've gotten a good amount of swings in, and it's safe to say that my driver feels so much better. And we're seeing the same type of shots that you guys saw in this video be replicated in training and on the course. So really exciting stuff. And then of course, I don't know if you guys heard it or picked up on it. We talked about spin a lot with my driver and getting fit. So I'm going to see Mike from Sellingers next Wednesday, I believe, and we'll have that video out in a couple weeks. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. I think that's going to be huge for my game. I'm spinning the ball way too much. It's certainly gonna add some, some distance, but I'm hoping it also adds a little bit of confidence with my club as well. And if you've never seen any of my videos before, let me link one of the lessons right up here for you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week playing some good golf out there. I love you so, 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 so much. Happy Easter and I'll catch you guys next week. Take care.